downright creepy things that have happened in Michigan. Coming in at number one, we have the actual murder that inspired the movie Jeepers Creepers. A husband and wife are passing by this abandoned schoolhouse when they notice a green truck, as well as a man carrying what looks to be a blood-soaked sheet with a body inside it. Well, just a few miles later, this truck is now barreling up behind them, and it would follow them menacingly for a good few miles before turning off. It was at this time they decided to go back and get his license plate, and when they pass by him one more time, he is now changing the plates, and there is a substantial amount of blood within the vehicle. This man's name was Dennis DePew, and he had just recently murdered his ex-wife in front of his own children. Next, we have a woman from Detroit who would poison 14 customers as a result of being demoted at work. You see, what happened was when her job title changed from cook to dishwasher, she took it upon herself to start placing arsenic in the biscuits. And even though there was a substantial amount of evidence linking her to this crime, she was able to get off on all charges. This woman's name was Rose Barron, and several members of her own family would die under mysterious circumstances just a year prior. In addition to this, she would be the sole claimer of their life insurance policy. Before we get to number three, I would just like to say if you are into this sort of thing, I have several playlists on my page of which contain more thorough videos of strange happenings. Last but definitely not least, we have what I like to call Detroit's very own Hinter Kaifeck murder, otherwise known as the St. Ubin Street Massacre. Back in the late 1920s, a man by the name of Benny Evangelist claimed to be hearing the voice of God. It was at this point he filled his basement with these creepy wax dolls, started a cult, and began writing his own Bible. Well, on the very night that that Bible was published, he, along with his wife and four children, were brutally murdered by someone with an axe throughout the house. And Benny himself was found to be sitting in a prayer-like position with his head sitting in a chair several feet away. The killer was never found. And those are just a few of the... The story of Jean Dulac and his evil doll. So in the early 1900s, Jean Dulac was one of the most famous ventriloquists in all of vaudeville. His doll not only looked like it was speaking on its own, but it appeared to move on its own and also had a voice completely different from Jean's. This confused a lot of his fans, but they mostly chalked it up to his talent. But others felt there was something slightly sinister about the doll. Reports that the doll was sometimes caught speaking even when it wasn't on Jean's hand. Missy Waters, a vaudevillian dancer and Jean's lover, claimed that one night she walked into Jean's room to find the doll off of his hand and Jean on the other side of the room curled up in a ball crying. She said a voice was coming from the doll speaking Latin and it clearly was not Jean. The more Jean used the doll, the sicker he got too and within a few years of his success he was on his deathbed. And apparently right before he died he asked to make a call to Missy. According to her, on that phone call, Jean said it was the devil inside of the doll. He said that he had bought the doll off a man traveling through town with the understanding that if he let the devil live inside the doll, he would have all the fame and fortune he desired. His last words were, do not let anyone have this doll after I die. The whereabouts of the doll are currently unknown. This is why you should always be scared of clowns. In 2004, a babysitter had just sat down to watch TV before the parents got back when she noticed something. In the corner of the room was a large clown statue that, no matter how she positioned herself, seemed like it was staring right at her. As she's looking at it, the father calls to check in on the kids. She tells him everything is fine, and right before they're about to hang up, she says, Why do you have a huge clown statue in your TV room? There was silence on the phone, and then the father just says, We don't own a clown statue. She immediately drops the phone, runs upstairs, gets the kids, runs outside, calls the cops, Cops go in and come out with this guy. As the police are taking the clown away, one of the officers comes over to the girl and with a very grim look on his face just says, we found him underneath one of the kids' beds. He was holding a sharpened screwdriver. This is why you should always be scared of clowns. Part two. Jake turned around and saw that the clown was sprinting towards him. He screamed out in horror and ran as fast as he possibly could. The clown was yelling terrifying things like I'm gonna get you and you're gonna die. Jake was running for about a mile until he finally got to his neighborhood. He turned around one last time and saw that the clown was gone. Jake ran inside of his house and called the police. He told them everything that happened. As he was waiting for the police, he noticed something outside of his front window. He looked outside, and to his horror, he saw the clown standing there and waving at him. Jake started screaming in terror, so he ran upstairs to go hide. 
The police arrived about a minute later and Jake told the officers everything that just happened. The police started a town-wide search but found nobody. And to this day, the clown is still somewhere out there. Remember this video? What the fuck is this? That's a hammerhead worm. If you see one, dissolve it. Hammerhead worms are invasive, toxic, cannibalistic, and potentially immortal. I have more to say. Let's do a quick recap. The worms are from Southeast Asia, but now have a worldwide distribution. They have the power to destroy ecosystems by eradicating earthworms. They trap them in this slime that liquefies them, and they drink it up. The slime is toxic, so no, you can't eat them. Hammerhead worms can eat other hammerhead worms, and also eat parts of themselves, because they can regenerate those parts with something called stem cells. Found all over them, these cells allow them to regenerate any part of their body they need to. They're not the only animals that can do this. Axolotls can partially do it. Starfish, Hydra, Planarians, which includes the hammerhead worm, and more. If you see one, you can't just cut it in half. You'll just get two hammerhead worms. Dice them up like an onion, and you'll have maybe hundreds of hammerhead worms. The only way to get rid of them without harming the environment with, like, fire is by trapping them in a jar with salt and vinegar and waiting for them to dissolve, which can take about 48 hours. Monster, how shall I feel? Creatures lie here, looking through the wind. So I found these conspiracy theories that are so believable, they actually might be true. Number 1. Studies show that cats understand human commands but don't care to follow them. Yeah, I don't like cats. I'm a dog kind of guy. Number 2. It is believed that when you die in a dream, you wake up because your brain doesn't know how to process the idea of what comes after death. Could be. I believe it. Number 3. Now this is Carrie. The reason Disney came out with a movie called Frozen was so that when you googled Disney Frozen, you would get information about the movie and not the websites talking about Walt Disney's body being frozen. I mean, I did see an article about this that was published in 1995. Not sure if this is true or not, but I do believe it. This is where it gets freaky. Number 4. Mike Tyson's Fight Time Traveler This fight was in 1995. If you look closely, you can see that that could be a smartphone. In fact, it does look like a smartphone to me. There were no smartphones in uh, 1995. This is how phones used to look like in 1995. They didn't have cameras. They barely had any color. But this thing double flashed exactly like how an iPhone or an Android would take a picture. I don't know about time travel, but this is very interesting. I'd really like to know what this thing was. What's the creepiest conspiracy theory that you heard of? 